Uh, lastly, we do want to acknowledge and thank uh, Tyler Perry, who we spoke with, who will be uh, taking care of the funeral for um, the family. And it's support like that, and it's uh, people who are actually um, in this community, that love the community, that want um, healing and families like this uh, to never have to go through something like this um, to step forward. And we want to thank him for uh, such a generous um, move. Right now, we want to introduce everyone to Tamika, who many of you have met, and the kids, blessing, memory, and dream. Um, blessing, it was her eighth birthday when her father died. She had her birthday party on the same exact day that they found out that their father was killed. She had her birthday dress on, as all of you have heard. She had cupcakes and friends over. Um, she was supposed to go skating with her dad and that didn't happen, of course. So, also, um, also Makai, who's 13, is his stepson, um, and he took care of him as well. Um, and Tamika, you want to say a few words? Um, I just want to thank everybody for all the protest and love and support that you guys have done. Um, I, I can't, words can't explain how thankful I am for everything. Even though I can't bring my husband back, I know he's down smiling because his name will forever be remembered. And, um, no, there's no justice that can ever make me feel happy about what's been done. I can never get my husband back. I can never get my best friend. I can never tell my daughter, oh, he's coming to take you skating or swimming lessons. So, it's just gonna be a, a long time before I heal. It's gonna be a long time before this family heal. And I just, like I said, I'm just thankful for everything that everyone is out there doing. And I just ask that if you could just keep it as a peaceful protest, that would, that would be wonderful. Because we want to keep his name positive and great. Rashad Brooks, the name that may start a protest tomorrow or another day in the future. However, the man himself no longer has a future. He can no longer live in the present nor plan for tomorrow. No matter what the different points of view are ours of his death, we must all agree to one fact. The fact that he was killed by the Atlanta Police Department. The fact that someone's cousin, brother, uncle, nephew, father, companion, and friend is no longer in this world. The trust that we have with the police force is broken. And the only way to heal some of these wounds is through a conviction and a drastic change with the police department. <clears throat> but honestly, true, true justice will never prevail because we will never be able to bring back Rashad Brooks. He will no longer be able to return to this world nor to his family. However, again, if we stand together and united as one, there will be no more cases similar to Rashad's. How many more protests will it take to ensure that the next vi victim isn't your cousin, your brother, your uncle, your nephew, your friend, or your companion, so that we can finally end the suffering of police excessive force? We are tired, guys, we're tired. And we are frustrated. <clears throat> Most importantly, we're heartbroken. So we need justice for Rashad Brooks.